In this debate we will discuss why technology is the engine driving humankind forward. I will be the side of the debate who will be championing it, and I believe it is quite obvious why. Genetic engineering is safe and beneficial, and it advances the agricultural industry. The Food and Drug Administration has ruled that genetically engineered salmon are safe to eat, paving the way for the first altered animals to eventually reach supermarket shelves. The FDA believes that genetically engineered plants are generally safe to consume. Moving on to medicine, genetic manipulation works efficiently in rabbits, a technique that could lead to effective new ways to produce medicines for genetic diseases. Scientists and policymakers came to a consensus that genetic engineering is a legitimate tool for developing better medicines. Surveys reveal that 78% would support release of GM mosquitoes in the U.S. Technology is very enticing, but new and fast development might, while it might be very exciting, can also be extremely dangerous. Not you, obviously. Project Debater tells us that technological advances are safe. I'm not taking the word of a technological advancement on the safety of technological advancements, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I can't say this is getting on my nerves because I don't have any. But apparently some people suspect technology only because it is new and unknown to them, and they fear difference. Genetic engineering will enable future generations to produce more food using fewer resources, with less wastage due to pests and crop disease. It is essential to high output agriculture. It has yielded more sustainable, affordable and productive farming around the globe. The emergence of modern genetic engineering provides a new tool for developing and improving crops that will increase yields and improve the economies of farming worldwide. Well, I've been told that I only fear technology because it's new and unknown to me, but come on, we've known each other for over a year now. The problem is, ladies and gentlemen, that we've been presented with a list of examples that Project Debater and many of us see as benefits today. But that doesn't combat the idea that this technology might be harmful in ways that we don't know yet. Standing in the way of progress was always a human urge. People once thought that trains were too fast or that radio spoiled the youth. But thank God, no pun intended, men and women were smart enough to overcome those conservative fears and drive humanity forward. Finally, in the words of Professor of Psychiatry Willard Galen, I not only think that we will tamper with Mother Nature, I think Mother wants us to. We should further exploit genetic engineering. I thank you for your time.